three videos one night. Well, in the Wineworks unboxing, I had bought a number of pet nats, petalat naturals, a wine made in the ancestral style, and they're all sparkling. They ferment in bottle, and there's actually a lot of every one of them that I've tried so far has had a, a sediment on the bottom, probably some of the, the yeast. So, this is one of the more crazy, outrageous labels with this bunny, the wine being called Astro Bunny. So, an Australian pet knot that's got the uniqueness that it's got all these, you know, Fiana, it's an Italian grape mostly, Nerodavo, Italian grape, and then something called Rabiba, Zabiba. Never even heard of it. Uh, Zabulba, Star Wars. But I, I don't know what that is. I'll have to look up that grape. Um, and even that, you know, my pet not brings all the boys to the yard. Pretty sure this was like a $40 bottle, but it's got all the signs of being playful and, and funny. And except that it's probably, hopefully, serious wine. So all I've tried a bunch of pet nets. It's the first one I'm doing on camera. A little unfortunate I didn't try some of the other ones. They were all really good. Uh, surprisingly good. I didn't actually think I'd like them as much as I have. And now I'm finding myself sort of craving some of them. None were sweet. I was afraid that some might be sweet. Definitely some some sugars, uh, but very, very little. And none tasted sweet, but you could tell it was something added because they weren't as bitter as maybe like a, a champagne with, with very, very little sugar added for that second fermentation. So... Really great so far. So I'm hoping this one stays in that same vein. Uh, this, and I have one more, the really dark one, the dark red one. Uh, all the other ones were, were fantastic. I'd have to look back at which ones they were. But if you look back at my video from the Wineworks unboxing, I recommend all of them. And whatever ones were in the $20 range, most definitely I would buy ones in the $40 range. At that point, you got to make a decision. Do you buy champagne, uh, a cava uh, from, from Spain? Frank Accorda from Italy, uh, where you get some more complex tastes. Like it just depends. Do you want to be sort of playful with this pet nat style or go a little bit more, uh, well, this is an ancestral style. I wanted to say a little bit more traditional, although what's more traditional than ancestral style, but this has sort of become a modern trend as of late. So as, don't have to do it with champagne, popping it open like a, like a beer. I was drinking these all in a regular wine glass tonight. I'm going to pour it into sparkling wine flute. So you see, just pours just like any sparkling wine. Um, it doesn't smell sweet at all. The aromas are not really fruity. It's got that bready yeasty thing going on, which is interesting. Maybe some like dried cranberry, but 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 hint, very very slight, more along the lines of of champagne and that style of of wine. So let's see. So just like the other ones, this isn't sweet at all. It's a it's it's not a dry. It's it's not sweet. So these aren't sweet. None of the ones I bought were sweet wines, but what I read about Petalant Naturals is that some of them can be sweet. Actually, it said the majority are sweet. Maybe I'm buying the ones a little bit out of the price range of the sweet ones. Maybe the sweet ones are the, the $10 wines. I'm not sure. Like I mentioned, as much as this is a red hot category, I walk into liquor stores, they don't have it. The store went to yesterday to buy the podium that Verdicchio was just showing in the unboxing on the J.J. Buckley. I asked them, do you have any pet knots? They said no. So... Maybe, again, California, trendy areas, wine bars, although it's it's the world of COVID right now, so how much are you seeing them? I don't really know. One of the pet nets I bought was from a New Jersey winery from Bellevue, and that was actually phenomenal, uh, really great, and I know it's only like, I think, sub-20. I would definitely be buying more of that, plus I'm supporting local, supporting New Jersey, Belleville Winery, and I'll definitely be ordering more, more of that one. Really enjoyed it. I mean, all of them had this very summer, very refreshing taste to them and they're all good I, I, I happy I tried them I really enjoy them I'll probably always have a few as something different to give people uh, typically I'll have Prosecco as something to either mix with especially for mimosas I'll probably continue mixing mimosas with that I feel like this this should be drank on its own to kind of take on hey listen I'm try, trying a pet nat I wouldn't really want to mix this especially well this one being I think $40 
So, great experience so far with them. I didn't expect that they would be like this. So this is a very pleasant surprise. A category of wine that I've tried ancestral style champagnes. I think one that I tried was, I think it was French. And it, it had it in a very cloudy color, but it was, it was tasted like some of the breadiness and some of the, the, the flavors of what you expect in a champagne versus this, which is different. These grapes are totally different. Champagne is, is uh, Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier. And these are all crazy grapes. Uh, Fiano and Nero and whatever Zabiba is, which I'll have to find out. This has a little bit more of a flavor, fruit flavor, not sweet. Think about a, a un- sweetened um, sparkling water like say this was like a grape if I had to compare this to a sparkling water it'd be a ruby red grapefruit sparkling water like seltzer water this is what this would remind me of but better and less bitter than that that would be very bitter grapefruit kind of a bitter taste sour taste this isn't sour but it's sort of between that bitterness and sour but pleasant refreshing for sure and really tasty. So I like it. I'll continue to be drinking Pet Nats. Maybe not the Astro Bunny, but certainly so many other ones. I'd say this is probably my least favorite of the ones I tried. No, it's not my least favorite. The first one I tried was my least favorite, and it was Austrian, and it tasted like a, a Goes beer. And I think I mentioned that in a previous thing. That was my least favorite by a long shot. Uh, that was the only one I didn't like. And it just felt like I was drinking a, a Goes beer, which is very sour. So that was a very sour expression. Then all the rest after that have tasted very much what I would expect of a sparkling wine uh, where they weren't sweet and they had good character, but the notes more along that champagne sparkling, California sparkling wine, cava, Franca Corda, rather than going the other direction, which is the beer, goes beer, sour beer type of of style, which was I was afraid of that'd be like that. Like the orange one I tried was very much a sour beer. I haven't tried my other orange one, it's still in the fridge. That one looks less orange. I wonder if that one will taste differently. The one I had that Avino was like a, a very intense example of an orange wine. After I did my research after that video, it seemed like that was a orange wine, extended skin contact white wine for people that love that style. Uh, that's an extreme, sort of an extreme style. So I do want to try more of those orange wines, only a few more. But this, Pet Nuts, definitely will always be in my cellar or my refrigerator. From here on forward, at least a few of them. Certainly from the Bellevue Winery, maybe some others. Definitely not the Austrian one. And probably not this one just because of the price and, you know, grapefruit seltzer. Not exactly what I'm looking for, but some of the other ones were awesome. And, hey, this will be great for the summer. I mean, actually, at a barbecue with some folks, hot summer day. I mean, this would be great. Uh, rather than a rosé, let's say, you, you pop this up because it's got some of the bubbles and it's just, it's great. So I think this would be perfect on a summer barbecue day. All right, good night.